Hello Capricorn, here is Georgia from Hubble Voice of Tarot and this is going to be your reading for July of 2018. Uh, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is well and the summer is good for you. I wasn't here for a little while because I've been having some issues uh, with uh, my elbow so um having i just got uh diagnosed osteoarthritis so i had to take it easy before i have to take it easy before the operation comes so just bear with me anyway let's cut the chat and start okay so my beautiful angels please what's going on with capricorns in a general life for July 2018, what's going on with Capricorns and their general life for the July 2018? What's going on with Capricorns in their general life for the July 2018? What's going on with Capricorns in their general life for the July 2018? And this is the overall card. What's going on with Capricorn in their general life for the July 2018? What's going on with Capricorn? And their general life for July 2018. What's going on with Capricorns in general life for July 2018? I'm doing the same spread as last month. Now the love life. What's going on with Capricorn in love life for the July 2018? What's going on with Capricorns in love life for the July 2018? What's going on with Capricorns in love life for July What's going on with Capricorn in love life for the July of 2018? What's going on with Capricorn in love for the July 2018? What's going on with Capricorn in love life for the July 2018? So let's go for it. You have a nine of swords and five of pentacles. Strength and eight of wands. Six of water, which is six of cups and four of wands. Renewal, which is the judgment, and King of Swords. For the love life, you have let go of control issues and observe, which is hanged man. Oh, you're the third sign, which is getting this card, let go of control issues. 
uh, free yourself and feeling alone which is five of pentacles you have a twice the same energy capricorn a uh, then you have a calling in your soulmate and sadness and isolation which is three of swords then you have a attraction and healing begins okay um uh, I think you have a similar card with Virgo, so you may be dealing with Virgo, possibly, or air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, I think Aquarius had a uh, let go control issues as well, so maybe Aquarius more likely, or any other sign really with uh, air energy anyway let's go for the general life first okay let me see Okay, what I feel, uh, Capricorns, is that you could, uh, for some of you, you could be either uh, laid out uh, from work or you may be afraid that you will be fired or laid out. Um, you could also feel... Uh, kind of like excluded in your environment whether it's work or whether it's uh, your friends area or just the family you feel this month that your um, home is not the way it should be uh, maybe you have been at uh, troubles with your family maybe you worried for your family or maybe you worried for your finances maybe you not um, having enough money uh, for those of you yeah uh you know having enough money and maybe that's what worrying worries you um could be one one of those uh, whatever the, your case may be uh also i feel that uh there's a strength uh, required for some kind of communication. Maybe you going through some communication um, or some events, uh, fast uh, events that uh, require your strength. Right now, uh, the tarot is advising you like keep your inner strength and uh, don't give up. Okay, um, try to forgive a uh, to yourself or others and. Uh, maybe have a bit more compassion um also i feel that there could be somebody in from the past coming back into your life uh whether it's in the relationship field or whether it's in your friendship or in the family field it's coming back to your family maybe it could be some um, sibling somebody you've known in your past and uh, it's visiting uh, your family or uh, visiting you and your family and uh you experiences uh you experiencing a nice times at the moment uh that's very nice uh also capricorn i feel that there could be some kind of a man male energy uh maybe strong man could be lawyer because you have a judgment you have a renewal um could be something legal you could be dealing with something legal with a lawyer maybe somebody from a uh, legal issues is um, maybe helping you out with something or maybe you going through some legal issues yourself and you have to deal with uh, lawyers or with judges or some kind of a court, uh, maybe police, you know, anything legal uh, could be uh, some um, advisor, 
you know, it could be somebody who's helping you to go through uh, maybe um, some issues. Could be in your company if you're dealing if you're in some company, or it could be in your environment, work environment, job environment. Maybe you are suing your employer for not paying you enough money. That's some concrete message I'm getting. So maybe somebody concrete. Um, also, uh, could be that maybe you've been unfairly laid out, you've been unfairly fired. That's why you, uh, the tart is advising you to um, solve it legally, uh, maybe press charges or anything like that. Also, it's necessarily to act fast, it's necessarily to act strong, and maybe the family is going to help you out with that. Okay. Um, for others of you, it could be as well that maybe you've been a lonely or uh, without work, without the finances, really without some stability right now. And suddenly something is going to come up fast. Maybe somebody's going to show you. That's for the others of you. Somebody's going to. Uh, give you some information that maybe some position is there for you and uh, that maybe you should take it it could be some family member maybe giving you uh, some advice or maybe giving you some information about some position you could be getting uh, or is going to maybe it could be some of your friends colleagues somebody who uh, you find uh, close to yourself maybe partner maybe maybe boyfriend girlfriend or friend okay as somebody who's going to uh, either give you advice give you information offer you some job or find somebody who has a job for you or who's help is going to help you from your recent situation or it could be also uh, just uh, supporting you emotionally supporting you financially maybe supporting you any other way just to make you stand up for, on your feet Capricorn also it could be uh, maybe the family member or some kind of friend or close friend close partner maybe could help you with those legal issues or um, maybe to decide about your future maybe they're going to support you in uh, getting uh, getting the job getting the uh, interview you know and think of that matter what you need this month is an, a lot of strength self-confidence uh, also, you need to uh, look after yourself uh, physically and uh, you need to um, make sure that you eat properly, you are strong enough, you know, um, you could feel uh, sick, you could feel uh, mentally um, weak, maybe uh, you fall into depression, you know, so make sure you try to... Uh, relax a little bit Capricorn uh, try to look into your life uh, from um, from objective point of view and see what you can evaluate you or you can review in your life and what would you like to ch uh, change uh, the third is uh, advising you to either for some of you um, seek the legal advice uh, maybe to um, make the decision whatever you decide in about this month you know take the decision this time is the right time to take the decision if you have some air sign air sign around you who could somehow help you out from uh, the situation you are into then seek their advice because they could be uh, a good advice at the moment for you good mental or legal support okay that's why i feel you in general life of capricorn i'm gonna move on to a love life it keeps falling <laughs> and see what's there for you 
Okay, so I see that you do have uh, issues, uh, maybe control issues, that's what we seen, and could be dealing with Virgo, could be dealing with Aquarius, maybe, um, or any other star sign, really, with those energies. I feel that uh, there is a stagnation in your uh, relationship, yeah? Maybe you feel uh, lonely. You either have no um, relationship, maybe for the single ones, maybe you feel that you you feel lonely and you would wish to have some some soulmate but you you haven't found it yet but you hoping or praying for it uh, you feel really lonely and isolated you feel also uh, heartbroken or sad uh, because uh, you don't have the love you're hoping for um, Maybe you seems like you are healing from something in past, possibly. A uh, maybe your life is overbird, overburden, um, overwhelming at the moment that you don't really have much energy for a relationship. For those who are in a relationship, some kind of, uh, some kind of partnership, I feel that there are some issues that need to be faced. Okay, there is a stagnation in relationship, and you feel isolated. You should free yourself, Capricorn, because maybe you feel, even though you are with someone, you feel lonely. Maybe you are in a silent, um, si you having a silent treatment maybe you are in a silent partnership now maybe you feel that kind of a feeling of um being with somebody but feeling more lonely than than uh, as if you were totally by yourself okay so tarot is advising you for those of you to free yourself okay capricorn free yourself from this toxic situation and try to uh be on your own for a while and uh, solve your uh, issues first okay maybe you are controlling too much um, or maybe you are controlled too much by somebody okay maybe uh, for some of you um, somebody is um, controlling you so much that you cannot really go anywhere and you feel isolated that could be for others of you uh, or it could be just mental or emotionally uh, controlling so uh, the tarot is advising you basically try to let go of them try to unsolve that uh, i mean try to <laughs> uh, solve that unfold that um or maybe go with the flow a little bit maybe try to not to think too much about negative things try to see the positive in the relationship Capricorn um, the overall cards are attraction and a six of swords which is a healing begins in this tarot deck I feel that uh, you need to really heal before you can actually um, feel a love from somebody uh, there's a lot of issues for you even though you're hoping for some soulmate you uh, praying for them and you're really sad and truly lonely you not attracting anyone at this stage because you are closed you are isolating yourself okay and the energy is there that such such energy is around you that doesn't really attract anyone you need to first in 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 terms to be able to attract others you need to heal yourself first capricorn okay so whatever restrictions you are having towards the world or towards yourself you need to let go of it you need to feel free yourself you you need to set yourself free from all these issues or control issues or from all these past issues you've been having okay um maybe try to meditate try to um 
do some activities for now. This mom doesn't seem to be pretty uh, proactive in terms of love. So maybe uh, try to treat yourself nice, you know, try to look after yourself for the moment. You need to heal. You need to take time for, um, for yourself, okay? You need to take your life into your hands, uh, whatever the case is. In, after the situation you've been through, you really need to grab the life into your own hands and feel uh, and try not to feel that you need to depend on somebody to be able to live, okay? Try to first uh, learn to live by yourself or to be by yourself and to be happy by yourself before you try to go to another relationship, to some relationship, okay? For those of you, I feel that maybe it's time to move on from some uh, stagnation in a relationship. Maybe you should uh, let go whatever relationship you are in. And if it's not working, if you feel isolated or if you feel lonely, even though you are in a relationship with somebody, if you're not getting too much attention, if you're not, not getting any love from them or uh, reciprocated love, it's time to move on. Okay, it's time to leave and uh, try to um, close this chapter and move on. Okay, that's what I feel, Capricorn. Maybe some of you are going through breakup right now already. And after a long time of uh, stagnation. Or maybe after realizing that there was some abuse or control. It's probably, it, it seems heartbreaking, but you're still hoping that there is somebody in, in, in your life that is that you're going to meet. And that gives you hope. Maybe a soulmate. And that gives you hope. If it's not there yet... You are manifesting it by just thinking of it. So if you uh, want to find a soulmate, just try to vis visualize it. Try to uh, do some affirmations. Try to think about it. And those energies are going to manifest if you let it. Okay? Overall energies uh, are really and letting go okay moving on and after you be able to move on you'll be finally this attractive person again and you will attract people to your space again to your life and there could be that soulmate you're looking for you hoping you're dreaming about okay capricorn that's what i feel Anyway, that was your reading, Capricorn. I hope it resonated with you. If it did resonate, please give me thumbs up. If you didn't like it uh, for some reason, then give me thumbs down. <laughs> and uh, comment. Please give me some feedback. Comment down below and tell me what's going on with you. And um, also check your moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign. Sometimes they resonate more. Okay, Capricorn. Uh, have a beautiful day, beautiful uh, month, and I hope to see you next time. Okay, take care and good luck. Bye.